Oh, hi, little girl. What brings you to see Uncle Krusty? <laughs> Krusty, are you broke? Yeah, all it takes is some bad luck at the ponies, worse luck in the Bitcoin market. New to the Oxford Dictionary, 1600. A digital currency in which transactions can be performed without the need for a central bank. Woody, what is a Bitcoin? Yes. Oxford Dictionary is for 2000. <laughs> Uh, technically, everyone's still the same place in relation to each other. These points are like bitcoins. <laughs> no, they're not, because your points are going to go down suddenly. <laughs> they're powering wind. down for duration of boring comedy explanation. Why, if I had a bitcoin for every time I've heard that before. <laughs> All right, well. It's untraceable. Like you asked. How? Explain. I used a Ripple exchange to have the fiat currency converted to eCash and then into Bitcoin. I ran the whole transaction through a randomized cryptographic extension at the protocol level, then through a two-tier secure laundry service I know I can trust. No one's gonna catch you. I promise. Bitcoin. Totally untraceable. While dollar bills are traded through a bank, Bitcoin is traded peer-to-peer. -peer. See, Mom? No pretty colors. Fun, right? No one can Thanks, Zach. So, you don't buy Bitcoin? No, you can. There are currency traders online. Yeah, one Bitcoin's worth $3. It used to be $33. People were hoarding. But that's not how it gets into circulation. You mine it, like gold. A guy who invented it created this program that releases blocks of Bitcoin over time. The deep web, I've heard of that movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 96% of the internet isn't accessible through standard search engines. Most of it's useless, but it's where you go to find anything and everything. Child porn, Bitcoin laundering, mail order narcotics, hackers for hire. How do you access it? It's actually pretty easy. I can show you if you want. You know, in Haitian voodoo, Papa Legba is the gatekeeper at the crossroads between life and death. Yeah, well, I think Bell figured out Papa Legba's real identity. So why didn't you turn him in? blackmail. He wanted half a million dollars in bitcoins to keep Papa Legba's identity a secret. Okay. Who do you want to see in a casket first? Your wife or your kids? You leave them out of this. Now it's two million. You say another word and it's four. Same drill. Wire the money. Convert it to bitcoins. Forget bitcoins. I want a face to face. I created a business model from my bedroom that revolutionized an international market and cut violence in the drug trade by half. You're welcome. Yeah, people are just lining up to thank you. It's okay. I have a plan. Okay, I have a hundred million bucks in bitcoins. You get me off this plane and past Interpol in one piece, I'll split it with you. I can communicate with everybody who voted? Yeah, I can do that. It should take about two minutes. Just uh, pay me some bitcoins when you get a chance. What? 